All right, so in this final video on Huckel microorbital theory, we're going to apply Huckel MO theory to benzene to see where those orbitals came from that we had seen in an earlier video, right, and how we can derive those energies and such. So, <clears throat> right, if we're looking at benzene here, right, we need to write out the Hamiltonian, right, for benzene, this Hamiltonian matrix, right? We talked about how, right, the Schrodinger equation, right, H psi, uh, right, this Schrodinger equation, H psi equals E psi, right, let's try writing that again, H psi equals E psi, right, right, that that, using uh, Huckel MO theory and the variational principle, right, becomes a set of matrix equations, right, C1, C2, or whatever, right? And this first matrix is your Hamiltonian matrix, right? So equal to energy, and then C1, C2, right? In the Huckle MO theory, right, the overlap matrix is just Dawn, because I assume that my wave functions are orthonormal, and so, um, right, I, I don't need to worry about it, okay? And so all we need to do is construct this, this Hamiltonian, okay? Right, and so <clears throat> since in benzene here, I just am looking at carbons, right? I'm just looking in my pi space, all I'm caring about is carbons bonded to carbons, okay? So I'm just gonna use value alpha, right? I can call it anything, right? I can call it alpha, I can call it B, I can call it a dog, right? It doesn't really matter, right? But I can just label it called alpha, right? And that's the P orbital energy on a carbon atom, okay? And then I'm gonna call beta, the kind of interaction energy, right? This beta is going to be H one P, you know, A H one, or sorry, not H one P one P A, right? Um, H one P A, right? One P B, right? Where like I have like atom A and atom B or something like that, right? Right, so that the interaction between the near near nearest neighbor atoms, okay. Um, <clears throat> and again, I only have six electrons in this pi orbital space because each carbon atom contributes only one pi electron, okay. So the diagonal here is fairly simple, right? It's just right for each atom, I put an alpha along the diagonal of this matrix, okay. Right then. What I need to do is let's let's number our atoms, right? So I'm going to start atom here one, and then atom two, three, four, five, six. Okay, as so I go around the benzene, say so okay, one is bonded with atom two, and it's bonded with atom six. So there's going to be this beta number for atom one and atom two, right? This is one, two, three, five, six. Right, one, two, three, four, five, six. Maybe I'll put the numbers. Let me erase the numbers up top here because the, you know, slide here. Right? This is atoms one, two, three, four, five, six, right? This matrix is a six by six, right? Representing, right, atom one, atom one interaction, which is just the energy of the um, P orbital, right? It's just an alpha value, right? So atom one and atom two interact. So the one, two value location in this matrix has to be beta, same with the two, one just like the one six and the six one has to be beta, right? And then the rest are zero because the rest of the atoms are not nearest neighbors with atom one. And then similarly, I can go atom two, um, right? Only interacts with atom one and atom three, right? Well, I already have the interactions with atom one filled in, right? And then I fill in two, three, okay? And then I start filling in three, four, and then four, five, and then five with six, okay? Right, and then that gets all my interactions, right, between my atoms, right, and the rest of the things are equal to zero, okay? And so this, then, is the matrix that needs to be solved to find the orbital energies uh, according to Huckel MO theory, okay? Um, <clears throat> okay? And so when you do this, you will get the following solutions, okay? When you solve this, this matrix using Huckel MO theory, okay, you'll get a set of orbitals, okay, that have different energies, right? So if we recall, right, there was, for benzene, we had this type of molecular orbitals, right? 
well this is alpha plus 2 beta this is alpha minus 2 beta and then this is alpha plus beta and alpha minus beta okay because if you notice I have two values for alpha plus or minus beta right so those are de de doubly degenerate okay and so that is what I get right and so this is the MO diagram according to Huttel MO theory right for benzene okay um, so I just right this is me writing it on the slide right um, <clears throat> Right, and there's six electrons, right? So I put one, two, three, four, five, six electrons in this, right? And so my total energy, right, for benzene would be um, uh, six alpha minus four, eight beta, okay? How did I get that? Each electron, so the, an electron occupying this orbital here, the bottom orbital alpha minus two beta, this electron has an energy of alpha minus two beta, right? So my total energy, right, is equal to alpha minus two beta plus alpha minus two beta plus alpha minus beta plus alpha minus beta plus alpha minus beta plus alpha minus beta, right? Which is the sum of the energies of each individual electron in the orbital that they're in, right? And this gives me my total energy, right, for benzene of six alpha minus eight beta, okay? Right? <clears throat> um, right, and Huckel MO theory works pretty well for studying these um, pi conjugated systems to get qualitative results and sometimes somewhat quantitative depending on the system here, right? It predicts benzene should have a degenerate or doubly degenerate um, homo level and homo level, okay? That is true, right? Um, and so again, right, in, in with Huckel and theory, right, I can ask again, what is the total energy of my electrons, right? We talked about in the previous slide, six alpha minus eight beta, right? Well, I can also ask, right, what is the ionization potential, right? Ionization potential is the amount of energy required to remove an electron from the highest occupied orbital, which is alpha minus beta here. So ionization potential is going to be negative alpha minus beta, okay? Um, uh, it looks like I had written uh, my pluses and minuses um, incorrectly on the previous slide. Okay, um, alpha minus beta and, and alpha minus two beta are the lower energy and the pluses are higher. But that, that, that's kind of irrelevant here. Um, okay, uh, oh, there shouldn't be a minus sign over here, right? So let's say my ionization potential rate. I could also ask something like, what is the, um, amount of energy required to move an electron from the HOMO to the LUMO, right? Well, that's just the difference between those orbital energies, right? So it's a difference, right? It's the change in energy between the HOMO and LUMO, which is um, alpha plus beta minus alpha minus beta, okay? The alphas cancel and there's just gonna be two beta, okay? So two times beta is the amount of energy required to excite my electron from the homo to lumo, right? So that would be my prediction as to where the absorption energy is for benzene based off of Huckel MO3 it would be two times that beta value, okay? All right, and so that's it for Huckel MO theory, right? Um, so again, you do not need to be able to derive these energies, but I, I would hope you'd be able to sit down and construct that matrix, right? Um, based off of the molecular structure, okay? Given the pi structure of the molecule, be able to write down, right? It's just gonna have alphas along the diagonal, right? But properly fill in where the betas are in the off diagonals, okay? Um, and then once you have, say, an MO diagram like this, right, to be able to interpret and say, what is the total electron energy? What is the excitation energy, the ionization potential, and other things like that based off of this MO diagram?